pattern making software or Illustrator? Let's talk about the pattern making software I use and why I chose it over using Adobe Illustrator. The pattern making software I use is called Pattern Master Boutique and you can find it at wildginger.com. The link is in my description below. And before I tell you why I chose this software, there are two things you need to know. The first thing is all of wildginger.com's products, including Pattern Master Boutique, are made for PC only. I'm so sorry, Mac users. But if you're a Mac user, don't go anywhere because the reasons I chose this software is something you want with any pattern making software, whether you're using a PC or a Mac. The second thing you need to know about this software is that it's for personal use only, meaning you cannot use this software to sell your own patterns. This is part of their licensing agreement. You know, that part that most of us don't read, we just agree. Well, it's in there. But if you want to make your own patterns to sell, they do have another software by the name of Cameo that is perfect for that. And of course, it costs more than Pattern Master Boutique, but it's because you're gonna be using it for professional use. If you are selling your own patterns, that's not personal use, that's professional use, right? So you're going to need different tools than you would need for personal use. For instance, if you're gonna sell your own patterns, then you need to be able to grade your own patterns. So these are the kinds of things that come with Cameo that you don't get with Pattern Master Boutique. And let me just say, there is nothing wrong with using Illustrator for pattern making, so this is not an Illustrator bashing video. The first reason I chose pattern making software over Illustrator is time. You know, that thing that we all have a limited amount of. Pattern making software has the same functions or the same pattern making functions as the expensive software I used when working in the sewing industry and the fashion industry. Why was that important to me? Because the fashion and sewing industries use software to make things more efficient, to produce faster. And pattern making can be time consuming. So I didn't want it to take me just as long to make a pattern as, I, as it would take me to alter a commercial pattern and do several fittings and get that fit right on the commercial pattern. Because then what would be the point of me even investing in the pattern making software in the first place? Using the software is also faster than me making patterns manually with pencil and paper. But I want to be very clear, it's very important that you know how to make patterns manually with pencil and paper before you even think about purchasing software. Because you're going to, you need to know what to tell the computer to do. It's not just going to automatically do it for you. You need to be able to tell it what to do in order to get the best use of your software. The software also saves time because it was made specifically for pattern making. So that means that you can do pattern making functions with just a few clicks. Illustrator was not made specifically for pattern making. So while you're still able to use it for pattern making, some things are going to take extra steps to do, which means extra time. So let me give you some examples. In my pattern making software, if I want to true this dart, I can do that in a few clicks of the mouse. I'm telling the software which dart I want to true and choosing the line above the dart to fold it toward the armhole or the line below the dart to fold it down toward the waist. And here you go, my dart is trued. With Illustrator, not only are you using more than one tool, but it requires a lot more steps which requires more time. Another example is when I want to print my pattern. Once I choose things like the printer I'm using or the properties like, for example, the paper size, when I hit OK, the tiled grid with the pieces comes up. I can reposition the pieces if I want to. I can also choose to print by selecting a piece or a page. In Illustrator, you have to create a tiled grid like this yourself as a template. It's not automatically done for you. That in itself could potentially be a time consuming process. Now, I'm not saying these things cannot be done in Illustrator. They most certainly can, but the process is longer because Illustrator was not specifically created for pattern making. The next reason I chose pattern making software over Illustrator is because of the learning curve. If it takes extra steps to complete a specific pattern making function, you have to learn those steps 
And you also have to learn what tools you need to use in order to perform those steps. And because Illustrator was not made specifically for pattern making, the tool functions are not going to be named for pattern making techniques. So for example, if I want to true a dart in Pattern Master Boutique, then I look for the button that says true dart. In Illustrator, there is no such button. So you have to learn the names of the tools that you need to use to do what you needed to do. Now, I'm definitely not saying that you can't learn Illustrator or that it's too hard to learn. In the day that we live in now with the internet, you can learn anything you want to learn. It really depends on whether or not you want to learn it or if you have the patience to learn it. I just want you to be aware of the differences between a software that's made specifically for pattern making and one that is not. The next reason I chose pattern making software over Illustrator is the price. Y'all had to know that was coming, right? And what this comes down to is what your budget will allow. Pattern Master Boutique has a one-time fee of $225 US dollars at the time this video was made. So just be aware that price can change. Whenever they upgrade the software, which is not often, it's going to be it's going to be an additional $50. And by upgrading, I mean, they come out with a new version. So right now I have Pattern Master Boutique 7. So if they come out with a version eight, then it would cost $50 for me to upgrade from version seven to version eight. With Illustrator, you pay monthly, you get free upgrades, low monthly payments, but you're always going to be making those payments as long as you're using the software. If the low monthly payments is best for your budget, then do what is good for your budget. If you want to use a software to create your own patterns in the long term, then it will probably be more cost effective. Purchase something with a one-time fee and, a, and an occasional upgrade fee. So what you're going to pay in low monthly payments for Illustrator is going to exceed the cost of what you pay for Pattern Master Boutique at the time, at the making of this video. But remember, if you have Pattern Master Boutique for two years, then you're going to pay a one-time fee. And maybe if they upgrade a $50 upgrade, if you have Illustrator for two years, you're going to pay more than that one-time fee for both years. So again, it's according to your budget and what works best for you. If you want to see inside the pattern making software I use, you can watch this video. It's part one of three. I made these videos years ago, but the basic pattern making functions are not that different. So go check it out. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.